Children's Hospital in Colorado Springs says it is seeing a steady increase in kids needing to be hospitalized for COVID, and the local increase follows a nationwide trend. KRDO News Channel 13's Jessica Grunling spoke with a local family whose two-year-old daughter just got out of the hospital after battling the virus. Two-year-old Cecilia Pittman spent six days in the hospital with COVID-19 symptoms. Her parents call it the hardest week of their lives, and they say they hope their daughter's experience can serve as a reminder that the pandemic isn't over. Cecilia Pittman is your typical two-year-old. He's fun and goofy and just loves to play. Yeah, with. a lot. I mean, a lot of energy. Too much energy to sit on Zoom with her parents. But about 10 days ago, Tiffany and Jerry started to notice that energy go away. You, know, you see all these symptoms and then all of a sudden the personality kind of goes away. The energy goes away. Then you really know, you know, something's wrong. Those symptoms were a slight cough, fever and difficulty breathing. And for little kiddos, that's really like the nasal flaring, kind of using their chest and belly muscles to take deep breaths. And that's when we brought her to the children's ER in Colorado Springs. Cecilia tested positive for COVID-19 and a day later she was admitted to the hospital. See her, um, you know, with the nasal cannula and an IV and on the monitors, um, just see her so unwell was, was really hard as parents. According to Children's Hospital Colorado, child COVID cases are increasing. Young patients testing positive for COVID-19 and other respiratory viruses. We have been seeing for the past several weeks a number of the other respiratory viruses we would normally call during our respiratory virus season, but things are just a little bit out of whack this year. According to the El Paso County Health Department, 50 kids nine and under have been hospitalized with COVID-19 over the course of the pandemic, but more than half of those hospitalizations happened this year. We do know that the Delta variant is more, uh, more easily spread and more easily transmitted between people. Um, and just with kids, um, the majority of kids not being vaccinated quite yet um, because they're not el eligible, um, we think that they may be kind of at greater risk for getting that, um, that variant or an, any of the, the COVID variants that exist. Cecilia's parents say they're seeing her personality come back and she's getting better every day. While vaccine approval pens for kids, they say they hope their situation shows the importance of getting vaccinated. COVID-19 is still very much still out there and it can infect our children um, and they can still get very ill. Um, and the best way to protect them is to to get vaccinated, especially because our young children can't. Doctors at the Children's Hospital say parents should stay vigilant against infection, especially if your kids are too young to be vaccinated. The Children's Hospital will host a vaccine clinic two weeks from today on August 26th. You can find clinic information on their website. In the studio, Jessica Grunling, KRDO News Channel 13.